side. Knees 45 up. to 20 was that score. <laughs> 45 to 20, I'll repeat it. And an eagle giving a bird's eye view of the river, of this river in London, the River Thames, uh, taking viewers soaring high above the city. The video being used to raise awareness of the endangered white tail eagle. That's remarkable. Unless you have motion sickness. <laughs> well, someone call Aretha Franklin. We have a respect problem in the workplace, apparently. A new study showing that half of employees working around the world don't feel like they're respected by their boss. <laughs> and that is bad for business. The study found that those that get respect from their leaders reported 56 better health and well being, 89% greater job enjoyment, 92% greater focus and prioritization, meaning that people not only like to work, but they're happier employees. They stayed with their company. Longer. So let's get our power panel in on this one. Steven Sigmund, he is the senior vice president of Global Strategy Group and a Democratic strategist and former communications director for New Jersey Governor John Corzine and Gene Marks, CPA and business columnist and comedian Sherrod Small. Who's who, um, America? <laughs> <laughs> Follow Sherrod, right? So, so what do you guys think? Aretha Franklin, R E S P E C T. Uh, how important is that in the workplace? What do you think? It's clearly very important. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, too many people have bosses like that Duke bat, uh, football coach <laughs> slamming, <laughs> slamming things around, clearly. I mean, look, it, it, you know, it, you don't need a study to know this. Any good workplace, it's as important who you work with uh, as what you do, mm -hmm. right? And, and you should have a kind of no a-holes policy, but unfortunately, too many workplaces don't. No. And, and a lot of people don't really have a, an option because they, they need the paycheck, right? And so what do you think that is? Because it would make sense for business owners, if you have happy employees, right. then, you know, your employees are going to do a better job some, working for you. Some people just see happiness as the bottom line. So if you're making a lot of money for them, they might be cheerful. But some guys are just, you know, slave drivers. I don't want to say it. And it's a hard, um, it's a hard working under them. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking to Rupert Murdoch right now. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just got everybody fired here. Uh, <laughs> he, 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 I love of, working here. This is a himself. great place to work. Right. I, I, I definitely. Wonder, I mean, you bring up a point about like yeah. working here, so I can speak. He says, I, mean, I have ten employees in my company. We okay. have a lot of clients. We have a boss. Some of it actually, the employees have to look at themselves in the mirror as well. I mean, as yeah. a boss, okay. um, I look for employees that are passionate about what they're doing, that enjoy what they're doing, right? I mean, you've been here, I don't know, four or five years. Mm -hmm. You work for Fox News. Fox News has a lot of fans, a lot of critics as well. Mm -hmm. But you know, you don't want to hear that. You know, this is this is all about. Where where you work, and that's what your bosses want to hear as well. So, yeah. attitude has a lot to do with it, and passion has a lot to do with it yeah. about your job. If your boss don't respect you, you gotta go, leave. Yeah, yeah. You gotta go get exactly. another job. Either you're gonna learn that you, you had it too hard there, or you're gonna say, hey, that boss wasn't so bad because this guy is worse. But does money speak, yeah. and do more people stay in jobs that they don't like if they're yes. being paid what they consider you know a fair or a better right. wage, it's and they'll get somewhere else? And it's not just the wages. I mean, in a lot of cases, people don't have a choice at all. I mean, a lot of people in low wage. Uh, uh, professions don't really have a choice and they need that paycheck and they live paycheck to paycheck. That's why you have to have workplace protections where people aren't treated so badly and a lot of times there is a line between that sort of terrible well, I'll treatment. I'll argue with that as well that I think a lot of bosses can actually detect that when you don't have your own sort of self-respect and I'm not right. saying that people don't have choices because people do uh, but they have to look to try and better themselves and get more so, education So you're a great skills. boss is what you're saying. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you know you know great one. I don't like everybody that I work with oh. you know, anybody, but I got news for you. I don't I have okay. to like somebody to respect them. You know, if they're uh -huh. good at their job and, and I know that they're into the company and into what they're doing, I okay. respect that. And Sherrod, I think that's the most important leave us thing. with some words of wisdom. <laughs> I mean, listen, if you're out there, you're working for somebody who you don't like and you know they don't like you, leave. Try to get a new job. If you work at McDonald's, try Burger King. Okay. Just try a new spot, a new place. Maybe you can get an equal job somewhere else with sure. a better situation. Okay. Or you could try the horrible bosses routine. <laughs> <laughs> and horrible hiring. bosses 2 is coming out. I want to see that one. I like that movie a lot. All right. Thank you all for joining us. Thank Have a great you. weekend. Yeah. I appreciate it. That was fun. That was great. Well, coming up, Russian spies looking directly into your home. How hackers are getting pictures of babies and posting them on the web. Also pictures of you, maybe. Plus thousands of pigs, yes, pigs, trapped in an overturned truck on a highway. Now there's a desperate struggle by emergency crews to rescue them. At Ancestry, we call it a hint. Simply type.